they close it. The preacher said, we need to cry. We need to cry unto God. For God is the discerner of tears. Oh my God. He is the discerner of tears. Sometimes we can't cry aloud because the pain is too heavy. The circumstance is so cumbersome. But my God, if you just even cry in your heart, He'll move towards you. As a good parent move towards a child. When my son and my daughter, when they're in trouble, I can discern that cry. And when I hear that cry, it doesn't matter what's in front of me, I'll tear it down to get to them. The same is true for your father, my father, your God, and my God. When he hears your cry, move towards you. The Bible said, come on ye who are weary come on earnestly tenderly Jesus is calling the altar is open, come calling Angel of the dead in Christ shall rise. And when the church is removed, there'll be no more cries. And it doesn't matter if you weep and roll in the dirt, they'll never hear you. For you saying today, choose me. I know we have our plans for later, our plans for tomorrow, our plans for marriage. Our plans for vacation, our plans for relationship, our plans for this and our plans for that. But what you're not realizing is your plan has become your God. Your desires have become your God. The Lord is saying, come today. Come let me wash you. Come let me cleanse you. Come let me purge you. Come on, be buried with me through baptism. Come on, let me endow you from my with my spirit. Come, let me wash you with my words. Come, come, come. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed. The word said, blessed the word. That blessed means happy. Is the man, the woman, the boy, the girl who put their trust in the Lord. The altar is open. Come. We'll sing one more time and we'll pray and come. Oh, come, come. Come to the altar. Come give your life. Come. 